Oh, look down yonder. Here we are in beautiful Live Oak County, Texas, where the smell of roadkill permeates the air. The vultures circle when you're still alive, and the trucks pass by you at about 80 miles per hour on these little roads. But we're not here for the culture, if you could believe it or not. We're here for this adorable little dainty bastard, Erythrostem and Philanthroides. This is an endangered species right there, a member of a genus that I know and love so much. The genus Erythrostem, and I got a 20 foot tall Erythrostem in Mexicanus in my yard next to my front door. The pollinators love the shit out of it, so do I. But this is Erythrostem and Philanthroides. It's a tiny little endangered species, none of which are getting taller than eight inches, and they're growing in abundance here, though only two are flowering right here on this little marl road cut. Marl is a calcareous, a cal basically a mixture of uh, calcareous rock and calcareous mud and dust, weathered calcareous rock, which is just the former ocean floor uh, from a Cretaceous ocean. Let's get an up close look at that at those that flower structure oh my look at look at those hairs look you got hairs on the filaments in there look at that what a wonderful flower say salpinoid flower say salpinoid refers to the say salpinoid subfamily which is a specific type of flower structure of a group of plants in the pea family fabaceae like you like the way i said that moral Marl reminds me of the way that old switchmen would talk when I worked for the railroad. We got instructed to take a bunch of locomotives to the roundhouse once. Ooh, nice yucca constrictor. And, uh, you know, we asked permission to enter the roundhouse like you have to do. The old bastard inside, probably probably dead now, certainly retired, uh, growled at us, basically. He gave us, you know, those guys smoked a lot, a lot of those old heads. He gave us some sort of, like, convoluted... But he was, he was, it wasn't mad or anything. It just, that's just the way he spoke. Anyway, beautiful glabrous leaves. You got those red margins on those leaves. Again, none of these are any taller than uh, yeah, eight inches. About, again, an endangered species only known from a handful of sites in the Corpus Christi area. Come visit the Salinas statue while you're there. They got the little termites, you know, the, the harmless termites. They build those little mud tubes out of, uh, out of uh, mud and shit. There's another one flowering right there. Beautiful flowers. We got uh, black brush acacia right there, Vicellia rigidula. We got yucca constricta, a number of other cool plants. Down there, we got Gutierrezia texana, not even flinching in the heat with those little yellow asteraceous flowers with those prominent styles poking out. And over there, post flowering, but certainly putting on a show when it does flower, full of pink blooms that the butterflies love. We got Liatris punctata. I'm going to collect some of those seeds later. Anyway, Erythrostem and Philanthroides. It's a rare one. All right, appreciate it. May not be here in a little bit. We'll see. Who knows? Who knows? Texas doesn't take good care of its endangered plants. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a great day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.